Now, here we're going to quote a few of the sayings from Ptah Hatep, which give us a glimpse of the intellectual height attained by the Egyptians, the native black Kamites, and their Ethiopic forefathers nearly 5,500 years ago, saying, one, no artist is endowed with the perfections to which he should aspire. He who perverts the truthfulness of his way in order to repeat only what produces pleasure in the words of every man, great or small, is a detestable person. If thou art wise, look after thy house. Love thy wife without alloy. Fill her belly, clothe her back, anoint her, and fulfill her desires as long as she lives. It is a kindness which does honor to its possessor. If thou art powerful, Command only to direct. To be absolute is to run into evil. The gentleman penetrates all obstacles. Teach the man of great position that one may even do him honor. If thou hast become great, who once was small and rich after having been poor, grow not hard of heart because of thy prosperity. Thou hast only become the steward of the good things of God. So it's very clear more and more to us this link between the ancient wisdom, the ancient Egypt, the light of the world, the reclamation, this wonderful work and works done by our brother Gerald Macy, you understand, really shedding light on the half of the story that when we go to a book like this in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 64, and we come across such a seemingly cryptic saying as, But now, O Lord, thou art our father. We are the clay, thou and thou, our potter, and we all are the work of thy hand. We once again can explicate and put it into right context. So when we look at what Agor said, the words of Agor, of Agor, the son of Jacket, even the prophecy, the man spake to Ithiel, even to Ithiel and Ukal, who said of himself, Surely I am more brutish than any man, and have not the understanding of a man. I neither learnt wisdom, nor have the knowledge of the holy. And then he asks these series of questions. Who hath ascended up into heaven, or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? Because every word of God is pure. He is a shield to them that put their trust in him. Add thou not to his words? Least he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. Two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Least I be full and deny thee and say, Who is Yahweh? Or at least I be poor and steal and take the name of Elohe, my God, Amlakieh, in vain. 
Accuse not a servant to his master, lest he curse thee, and thou be found guilty. There is a generation that curseth their father and doth not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords and their jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among them. The horse leech have two daughters crying, Give, give. There are three things that are never satisfied. Yea, four things Say not, it is enough, the grave and the barren womb, the earth that is not filled with water, and the fire that saith not, it is enough, the eye that mocketh at his father and despiseth to obey his mother, the ravens of the valley shall pluck it out, and the young eagles shall eat it. There be three things which are too wonderful for me, yea, four which I know not. The ray of an eagle in the air, the ray of a serpent upon a rock, the ray of a ship in the midst of the sea, and the ray of a man with a maid. Such is the ray of an adulterous woman. She eateth, <laughs> and wipeth her mouth, and saith, <laughs> I have done no wickedness. For three things the earth is disquieted, and for four which it cannot bear. For a servant when he reigneth, and a fool when he is filled with meat. For an odious woman when she is married, and an handmaid that is heir to her mistress. There be four things which are little upon the earth, but they are exceeding wise. The ants are a people, not strong, yet they prepare their meat in summer. The conies are but a feeble folk, yet make they their houses in the rocks. The locusts have no king, yet they go forth, all of them, by bands. The spider taketh hold with her hands, and is in king's palaces. There be three things which go well, yea, four are comely. Yea, 